The story behind A Job to Start a Movement is um, something that is really reflective of uh, creating great teams to make great things happen. We need to be a university that is part of the changes going on in the world today. And that's what Derek Hanley is all about. He's about getting us to think about how do we do things differently? How do we grapple with the wicked problems that confront us in the world today and take some action that will make change and make things better for everybody? So thank you, Derek Hanley, and thank you for joining us as our first adjunct executive professor. Uh, and we are thrilled that Derek uh, is able to use the university to support some of his work and also that he supports some of the work we're doing here as we share our vision together. Education's role in facilitating the future of business and how it impacts society and the environment is critical. It's an underpinning of the kind of people that we generate who want to go and get jobs and work in, in, in organisations around the world. The key thing that education needs to do is make sure that these types of things are taught at every level of business in every paper. So in every single faculty should be thinking about what are the forward thinking things we need to teach our students about the role of business in society that moves far beyond business just being a, an engine for profit. My name is Hannah Duda and I've come here tonight to meet an amazing bunch of people and accept an awesome prize. My connection with the shoulder tap is that I applied and um, for the awesome, awesome job that Derek put forward, but it was more it was more that um, I thought I could meet some people through this and be like, given so many cool opportunities and meet some great people and that's exactly what's happened really, so it's been good. The biggest change in the business world right now, um, I think there's a huge change around how people think about how they should treat people, so the drive to create more well-being, personal well-being in business, uh, business being really conscious that we can't have people attached to their devices 24-7. Uh, working hundreds of hours a week um, and companies putting things in place to change all of that. That's one. Second one, I think businesses integrating and embracing the social and environmental challenges that we have and creating business models to solve them. Um, I think those are two great changes at the moment that are going on. So how do we make those kind of changes take place? Um, first of all we need leadership, so we need CEOs who start to take a more holistic view of the world and businesses role. We need investors who have a longer term view on, um, on their companies uh, as opposed to the current obsession with quarterly reporting and quarterly returns. Um, and we need more partnership between business, uh, the governments, civil society, non-profits and looking at working together. But all those things are um, happening more and more.